And in the previous episode, our brave adventurers found an abandoned city by all looks, deserted and emptied years and years ago, if not hundreds of so. Within the city, they found a single, untouched, unransacked place, whereupon they discovered two remaining corpses. The only two signs of inhabitation in the entire city. With it, they also found ancient poetry, as well as a suicide note. However, other than that, very little was found of the faith of the inhabitants of the city. And here is where we continue in the dark, in the now re emergent darkness of the vault, where only your flashlights are providing you with any vision at all. This is where we cross worlds. But I'm a half orc, I have night. Oh, wrong way, wrong game. <laughs> ah. You, you will we... still be in darkness. <clears throat> With the only, uh, only social light being your torch. Let's see. Are we still in that room uh, downstairs? Yeah. Let's establish where we're at. We were in the poetry room, weren't we? You were in the, oh, yeah, in yeah. the, in the hidden, hidden oh, room. Oh, yeah. And we got some jewels and stuff, and uh, uh, but really not much out of it. Moment. The remaining place still is a mystery. Scrolls and jewels in the diary. And a Commodore 64 that's welded to a desk. So Max just like looking around and he goes, okay, I can I can understand why we found this place. There was still power here and we, we detected the power source. But I'm all indications. This is a well to do vault. But is this is this is this fault just a hidden fault, or is the building above more important? You like want to go check out the rest of the place? Hmm. Um, um, the way I'm looking at it is, there's two ways of building bunkers. You have the bunker out in the nowhere where no one knows where it is, so they can't target it. And you then have the bunker, you know, as a last resort, if you can't escape the city, that you can get down into to protect and hope for an indirect hit, and you're still protected. And look at it, this is quite a bit of an elaborate setup. Well, yeah, like, this is like a survivor vault for, like, a whole bunch of peoples and shit. But don't most vaults like this have a like a back door? That would defeat the purpose. Well, no, a back door that can only be open from the inside. You want to look around some more? Can we get the map? I made it so small now. Yeah. Um, I'll zoom in. We pretty much have explored. And this was the secret the... thing that we found. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There this is... was the secret that we found. There is one more place where there could be something. Oh, the wall underneath the walkway where we came in. Um, or uh, I was thinking between the one that says gate and the one that says storage. There's a square there that is the equivalent of this secret room. And my my flashlight on the wall. And... Uh, I'll, here, I'll ping it. There we go. Yeah. Boing. Boing. Either that or your drawings open. Actually, that space is just all of storage. Well, let's go to the storage room and move some shit around and see what we hit. Wait, wall box? 
Because we're we're here, right? Wall box. Is this where we're at? No, no. We're no. over here in this secret room. The blood. Yeah. Ooh, that was cool. Ping, ping, ping. Oh, and that was on the that was out of the office, which was the um upstairs, right? Is there any actually is there any way of going down from that secret room? No. It's just like it looks like regular floor. Come in. <laughs> okay, well. Well, let's go check out the storage spot then. Yeah, between, between, either from the gate side or the storage side. I think that's what I wrote there. It's either that or cake. Yeah. Yeah. While, while they're doing that, I'm just going to mm, cake. Just head back up onto the, you know, back onto the walkway to the main end, to the entrance and just wait there. Okay. Where are you going, Mac? Just make just double checking the make sure the key still from. open. All right. I like curious to find here. I'll investigate my storage area. Mac I'll will do his thing. And I'll do the gate area or whatever this room is. <laughs> Investigation or something? Booster? I would say I'm going to roll investigation or engineering. Yeah, not electronic. Uh, and... You would need elect uh, electricity for electronics yes. to be applic applic applicable yeah. for anything. I'll, I'll do investigate with intellect? Yes. Are you both investigating? Well, we're doing different different areas. Right. Okay. Uh, we're learning from what the last time you gave us hidden rooms, Booster. Yes. I, I, in my defense, that wasn't mine. <laughs> I didn't make that map. No, I just stole that. it. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Um, it was this. Uh, it was the circular. Um, D and D one shot. For, D and D one shot with the on the Christmas with the with the yeah circle to uh, circle shape circular tower. Oh dungeon. yeah, yeah. You were there, Froggy. You were there. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so you investigate the walls. On both sides, and you find nothing of interest. Upcus. I figured. What? Upcus. That's what I figured. Huh. Yeah, the, the well, secret, secret door thing in that dungeon was funny. <laughs> you were <laughs> looking for it. You were so fixated on that one wall. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Damn. Oh, uh, can you uh, post us a link to that episode? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, you can't. Please, no. We don't need to be reminded. <laughs> uh, you, well, you, you maybe can or you maybe cannot, but I can always allow it. Because moderation power is boom, yeah. Um, if you're a... a yeah, if you're oh, VIP, I've got so many links. You're VIP, you can post links anyway. So. Oh. oh, well. Froggy well, should be VIP. Yeah. Either way. Either, Either way. way. Mm -mm -mm. So, you find Pupkis. Whatever that All is. right, I'll return with Mac then. All right. Well, actually, I I'm going to. I'm going to pick up a couple more of the uh, cigars and then I'll get back. A couple of empty cigars. Yes. Huh? I'm going to, I'm going to walk. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's nothing more for me to do here. I'm going to take one last look at the uh, office with the computers. Well, I'm going to go to one of the computers or the terminals or whatever it is. And. Do it, Doug. I'm just taking a look at how this works. That's all. Call me electronic. No electricity. Can I? I was going to say, can I give him a boon? He doesn't need it. Never mind. I'm... Yep. Uh, when 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 you're examining it, you run into a button and a and something pops out. It looks like a floppy oh. disk. Like uh, it, it is eerily, sim eerily similar to a floppy disk, but there's variant designs. On which it. which kind? The hard kind or the flop? Actual floppy, floppy. Probably like floppy. the. The Apple II one. It, it's uh, more like a Nintendo cartridge. Okay, so a five and a quarter, uh, not five, yeah. this. three and a half, three and a half inch one. Yeah, okay. it's a, it has connection bases on the end of it, and uh, they are exposed when when it's outside of the machine. Oh, awesome sauce! Cool. Taking that back for sure. We can investigate that later. When he said something popped up, it was like, this is the self-destruct. You have 10 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> There's actually is like an old zip zip drive used to have cartridges mm, yeah. that had mass storage. It could hold all of 10 megabytes. Oh, it was incredible. I had a zip, a zip drive that could, could hold 100 megabytes. And uh, and I think it yeah it, it, this holds thirty uh, one hundred twenty eight gig. <laughs> um, yeah, I have one of those over there. Where, that was but, that was circa ninety, so this is right around that time. All right, anyways, I got my I got Apple. my Windows key. This is only sixteen gigabytes. <laughs> my five and a quarter inch floppy can hold one hundred and four sectors. <laughs> Wasn't very much. My nuclear program is run on a seven inch floppy disk. Seven? There's no seven inch floppy disk. I think it's seven and a half or something. Eight. Oh, it was five and a half and eight. Oh, it was eight, yeah. Okay. So, so th this, this is a part where I'm like, okay, what is that number in inches? <laughs> yeah, translation right. errors. I guess we're, um, I guess we're, um, uh, in Mac. Oh, yeah. Mac, Back to Mac. Uh, Mac, you find at the door, it's exactly as you left. Yep. Even the, trash in, uh, even the trash in the in the luggage that you left left in there. Okay. Apparently, no one has tried to lock you in. Yet. Okay. Just gonna pop my head up, just to look up. I'm guessing the ropes are still there. There's dark. There's darkness out there. Mm -hmm. Hello, just... darkness, my old friend. Like, I think I this entire place is going to be completely empty, so, like, we just got to be careful of all the rickety stuff. I don't think we're going to run into anybody. We should keep on, keep on exploring, right? This was the only room or anything off of the this part of the floor? Booster? Mm, as far as you know. Flashlight, look around. Don't seem to find any other entrances. This is it. Uh, you know, I wonder if, like, we could rig some of the van. Once we get to the van, I wonder if we could, like, rig some it to, like, power something else. Let's... Climb up and out of here. Yeah, is, back up. There is a lot of dangerous sounding creeks. Uh, why don't you give me an athletics check? Just one of you. Choose one. I can do, here we go. I can do dexterity or strength. Dexterity. 
Here we go. Oh, you want to do it, Mac? Yeah, probably might be better if I do it. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the creaking is dangerous, but it holds for now. And you all make it up in one piece. Now that you have been form formed into a single piece of three persons, what do you do? <laughs> Untie our legs so that we can walk separately now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we got tangled in the rope on the way up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, the coast is clear. Back to your vehicle, which seems to be standing still, undisturbed. There's a little bit of howling of the wind in the air. You can see it forming eerie melodies. Or actually hear it forming eerie melodies in the in the streets of long long dead city. <gasps> Let's try uh driving around and keeping our eyes out for like, I don't know, something interesting. If you point out anything interesting, we should We'll go investigate it. Good plan. The plan is to go around looking for something interesting. We're getting right. Yeah. We're investigator explorers, right? Using search pattern delta. Like, totally. Okay. Give me a straight wise check. Find me something intelligent. All right. <laughs> ha! Uh, yeah. I rolled so badly. A two and a one. So, um. Don't drive. Go, don't go that way. That what? wasn't delta. That was gamma. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so, trying to do that. Backing up, I go into an alley and try to do that. Yeah. Eh, eh, eh. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna have uh, have you hold me a time check. Oh, cool. Last time you did this, you uh, turned an elephant on its side. Six. Okay. Uh, right. So as you're driving around, you don't notice it in time, but suddenly, uh, the suddenly the 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 road gives in underneath your front tire and your car is suddenly tilted oh your van is suddenly tilted in such an angle that it cannot move it's uh it's uh it's touching the ground on the underside yeah you hear it? i'm just spinning the tires in reverse yeah yeah okay doug Maybe somebody else who doesn't have drive skill should drive. Um, well, we gotta get. Let, we let, gotta let's get the dam. Now. Yeah, let's get the dam jack out and lift it up, and that way we can try and get back out. It's gonna take hours. You, you didn't get a mechanic. I mean, a, a there's knowledge. a there's a there's a yeah there's a tire replacement jacks etc cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. We'll lift it out, and also we'll put. We'll find like planks or something to stick on the, the tires yeah. that helps the grip, or, or fill the hole with rubble. There's lots of rubble around. While while it is toilsome and a long process, it really, really doesn't require any extra special skills. Nothing seems to disturb your work, except for the chilling fact that the sun is setting, and pretty quickly. As the sun goes down, so does the heat. The winds turn cold. <laughs> the chill creeping up, creeping up even even during your heavy lifting operation, getting your car back on its wheels and off of the broken road. Oh, well, actually, it's still on the road, but just not on the broken part. Several hours later, and you are engulfed in the urban darkness. 
And why don't you give me some recon? All of us? Yes. And with which stat? Intellect. Damn. Uneducated. Well, now I, I don't have roll this, fantastically. So... Intellect, you said? For recon? Eight. Yay. And 12 for me. So... So Dan is just glad to get back inside inside the vehicle and out out of the cold, uh, huddling huddling in there. Um, uh, heater on. Yeah, uh, the he heater on. Uh, while uh, um, <clears throat> Stephen or oh, Mac, Mac uh, Mac notices that yeah, this actual actual nightlife in here. Apparently hmm. the local local fauna doesn't like the daylight and they they have they are now starting to emerge. You can hear the little little critters crawling and creeping and crawling and <laughs> noises like that. <laughs> well dog on the other other hand and spot things moving. You see... <laughs> Someone called for Froggy. <laughs> you, you say, did, you, did you sing Froggy mating songs? Um... Okay, please stop that. Please All stop right. that. I was telling them something. Uh, All right, we'll keep it. I'll keep it PC. I'll keep it PC. <laughs> the mating call of the wild froggy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have another piece of that chocolate, that bacon chocolate, now. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> He's felt that way for a long time. Like that Wait, did I say? Because I meant to say. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He... He, he meant to say love, not like. Okay. Oh my goodness. That's what I thought. I, I, remember, I thought I'm, I misheard. Remember, I'm the one with the language skill here. Yeah. Translating for you. Uh. So, yeah. You know, uh, dog notices movement. Whoa. There is definitely a humanoid shape. That you see dashing on the ruins near uh, nearby, you only see the shadow of it against the uh, against the clear night sky, only illuminated by the lack of stars behind it. But it is a shape of clearly a humanoid design. I'm gonna immediately do that breaking of the back. We're on a horse. Screech yes. of the tires. Oh. Um, you got several horses underneath you. You here? There's at least yeah. at least eight, eighty horses down there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I understand. <laughs> oh boy, yeah. I'm having too There's much. An extra fun. horse for you. That is fantastic. Um, uh, with the so the van has those stupid lights on the top. Front lights, the fog lights, and all the lights have been going on. I'm doing a big, big contrast um, against and where I stopped. It's, it's showing up on the buildings and illuminating the shadows. Do I still see that figure, or what I thought was a figure, or yeah. or is it already moved past? Whatever it was, it's not there. 
What was the stop for? It was like I saw somebody, like like somebody running, like from there to there, like a person. All right. Put on the IR goggles. See if that'll help. Uh, let's get it. Let's get out of the van and move slowly. I think would be better. Or they work, no, they, work, let's they do work through glass. But yeah, okay. yeah, no, I'm being dumb. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll advance the, the van slowly towards the last known location of where we saw, where yeah. I think I saw. The problem, the problem is, it was up there, on top of the ruins. Ah, you are down here on the street level. With Doug saying that, I want to just try and see if I can have my my wee little friend um help me with any of its own abilities to pick up what's going on okay uh give me intellect electronics uh, yeah that's gonna be neck free one day i'm just gonna roll a 12 and it's just gonna succeed no matter what <laughs> One day. Yeah, one day. This not is not today. that day. day. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what uh, skill you're training up in next, right? Electronics? Uh, yeah. <sighs> so um, I'm guessing you you know what I'm going to say, don't you? Mm -hmm. Information you overload. <laughs> nope. Not that. You get a very detailed, uh, detailed analysis on limestone and limestone variants, as well as, as well as what sort of limestone has been used for the construction Matt, of this particular I'm building. All the fossils in the limestone also, and, and noting pieces of rubble that are shaped like limes. Mm. Yes, uh, there's there's also a variety of uh, of metallurgical analysis as well as the various rust compositions on the pieces of metal still present in the debris field ahead of you between you and the target location of where you suspect there has been movement and uh, and uh, if there uh, and there's a few notions of something biological in minute detail including the parts of the pollen sp pollen particles these are the highlights that you managed to pick up from Not the mass no of next. Yeah. How, yeah, I'm, tall, I'm, I'm, how tall is the building that the guy was on? About, uh, you would reckon, like 30 stories. feet. Okay, so three stories. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's rather as... Uh, in, instead, instead of a wall, it's more of a slope of debris that goes up there and there's still some standing standing structures that are on the debris level so you could technically climb that yeah that would be technically i'm telling you i saw something there did we investigate or <sighs> i'm gonna turn off the i'm gonna shut down the start the sh turn off the van hit the leave the no i'm gonna leave the van running because we need the lights there mm -hmm. to help us illuminate that area. Unless we want to use IR goggles, but okay. You can do both. Oh, Les. <laughs> oh, that's really bad with IR goggles, yes. <laughs> Suddenly blind. Oh, I can't see it all. I said, or. Oh. And mm. more uh, flares. Yeah, might be I scary always... though. <laughs> Blinded by the light, <laughs> wrapped up in a douche, another rubber in the night. I'm but still thinking it's a good idea to like I'm not sure that's that to eliminate an area behind. Otherwise, we'd be in pitch darkness and like that's like very creepy, and I don't feel like being creeped out right now. Yeah, but if you leave the uh, engine running, then uh, somebody can just come along and steal it. Um, tip, tip. Alarm. 
I suppose. <laughs> okay. Something, something planks active. against the wall. Plunk. Against the wall? Of the yeah. van or? In, off the van. Okay. That would be the side, okay. No. Uh, no, okay. It's, it's technically a wall, so I'm technically correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best kind of correct. All right, I'm going to open the, the van door and, and look, get on or, or look on. Uh, All right. Uh, roll me dexterity athletics, please. Fantastic. I think we, we find ourselves in the middle of pitch black, folks. 11. So, you poke your head out to see what's going on and you immediately slam the door uh, door closed because it starts going ding 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 and there's there's a crack on the windshield outside uh, on, on, on the front things just raining down upon you uh, they don't have the power to penetrate there's definitely a lot of things that are coming at you. A bit heavy. Uh, your eyes, you remember seeing a spear-like object coming at you before you slammed the door closed. Yeah. <laughs> we'll Full-size spear or, reverse. or a tiny spear? Because you he went like stick, a spear. He, he didn't stick around <laughs> to, to figure out whether it was far away. Oh, it was cl close, but uh, harmless. But uh, there's there's definitely clinking gonna, going around in I'm your. I'm gonna reverse uh, the truck way. as a reaction. Reverse the truck and and just speed back a, a little bit until so that we're out of range, and then uh, after ten or so seconds, I'll we'll stop. I'll stop and turn off the lights. And this, I don't remember. Oh. Did this? Uh... Have, I just want to get like out of the a, range. A turret thing on the top? No, we this one thing didn't on... have a turret. We have side there. portals that we could that yeah, we could we use. Had... Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll go to a side portal with my uh, whatever the hell it was called. I, hey, what's my inventory? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, as you are backing off, you can see in the lights of your front beams oh, right, right. spears thrown into the location you were. They are clearly acclimatizing to you moving. So, sure. And uh, in, in in some beams, you can even see a throwing hand from behind uh, behind the structures, mm. the ruined structures. Yes. And then I'll I'll do the thing where I slide to the left so that our left entire left side can sh is is wall is to them so that we could use the portals and I'll turn up, hit off the lights and like, all right, they're they're hitting us. We definitely found people here. Um, I'm going to go to one of the portals. Um, put the laser rifle through. Mm -hmm. Put on my uh, my goggles. Which ones? If I can see uh, any heat signatures or movement. And fire a shot, but not at directly at one of them. Just a warning shot beside them. I repeat myself. Which goggles? The uh, e HUD. Okay, so they don't give you any sort of infrared vision, and your tight Whoa. spot targets are dark. Oh, that was me coming to see your inventory. Sorry. Oh, okay. So that would be personal hat. Okay. Yeah. So you tying the spot targets is is hard, but you can do it. Give me a recon. recon. With intellect. Intellect recon. Uh, skills. Skill. Recon. Of course. Recon. Old Jake of all truds. Yeah, uh, yeah, you you spot some shapes uh, 
throwing things at you, but they seem to so, sort of get out, out of the view immediately as soon as you point your weapon towards that direction. They're already out, uh, out, out of the line of sight. I'll still take a shot, just as a warning shot. Okay, you shoot, shoot a soundless, effectless shot against a solid rock that effectively just heats it for a bit. Huh? Not a laser. Oh, I thought you said you said you had... Accelerator rifle. I, I had laser. Sorry. No, I don't have a laser. Sorry. I had laser, so... <laughs> Accelerator rifle. Okay, so... Uh Okay. Um Okay, sure. Has it has an effect, but unfortunately for you you don't see what that is. Um a but, bit of an explosion on the wall? Yeah the well, yeah, that the there's a new hole there's there's a less intact wall there right now. There's a, All right, so I'm still in the driver's seat. I'm trying to figure out, like, uh, to see if I could see anything out the window, the left side, or if I should just get out here. What's the plan, Mac? Dan? Well, we start driving. Okay. Once I do my, I'm gonna do the forward. I'm gonna do the little shimmy so I could. Go the opposite way from where we're being attacked. Head back to the gate, I guess. Mm -mm. You can always just set up a. Uh, unless they're, they're all Spider Men, uh, I don't think they're going to follow us from building to building. Mm. Yeah, so I'll drive, I'll drive away from there and back through the route that I've already gone through and avoiding the pitfall area. Okay, so you guys can give me an extra driving check. What was that? Driving extra driving check. check. This would be you dexterity mean... driving. All right, you want me to throw out another one? Yeah. Right, here we go. Eight. Hey, twice as good. Okay, so you're driving ahead. All right confident that you left them behind and like okay you're in a car they're probably on foot so they can't possibly be faster than you right no uh then suddenly you <laughs> you you notice in the corner of your eye these walls starting to fold in on you you press the gas and you <clears throat> you, you press the gas and oh. <clears throat> And these walls start falling in, and a couple of the heavier rocks hit you on the on the end of the track, causing the track to swerve a little on the uh, on the other side, tossing any anyone inside that is not in the in the front seats uh, to the side. Uh, uh, we got rear-ended by the wall. You got rear-ended by the wall, and. And tossed a bit, a bit to the side, but you're able to keep the vehicle on the road. On, on the road, and you have a heavy dent on the back of your car. Well, I think we found contact with people, and I'll keep driving for the for. Keep, I'll keep driving for a little bit longer until we're. I think it's until it's safe. Five, ten minutes. Or, or we get back to the gate. Yeah. Whichever comes first. Whichever comes first. First of all, navigation, please. Which one of you is reading the map? Uh, that'd be... Skills, navigation. Oh, that's an education thing, isn't it? Yep. I can do that one. Go for it. Tell me where to go. I'm driving. Nine. Okay. Um. After a while of 
following uh, following where you're going and what your map tells you, uh, mm -hmm. what you have gathered so far, you realize that uh, you're lost. But we just retraced our steps. <laughs> Apparently you did a mistake so at some point. Like, it was really quick and uh, uh, it's, we were like being chased and running away. So like, it's not inconceivable that I lost which way to go. Um, it's really hard to tell these at night. These all places look the same. It's not like we would know what star where the stars were and the compass. Yeah, didn't work. but this 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 little issue of streets are streets. They are little bit more precise than angles of stars that you need to account to to know your location in the city. Any, any of these streets have names? If, if they the have, have, you haven't yet figured out any connection between name and a name and a street. There's it's some like odd fighting. Seventh Avenue, Eighth Avenue, Ninth Avenue. <laughs> this isn't New York City, there. Yeah. You've seen names like Lakshamit and Shamanamad and Ding Dong and, you know. Shamanamad Ding Dong. Okay. Yeah, but... the corner of Shamanamad and Ding Dong, yeah. Actually, my city, there are actually two intersections of Bonnie and Clyde. That, that yeah, makes right. sense. Because uh, Bonnie is a crescent. So it just curves around and oh. it encounters Bonnie. So uh, Clyde is, is a long street and Bonnie hits it twice. There's two intersections with Bonnie and Clyde. Wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so At we're lost. It's not but... a serpentine. Hmm. There's like seven in the sections of Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> so. Attacked by several locals at night hmm. just while this is going on mac is just gonna actually be just checking the the fan just to see if there's any indication of apart from dents just making sure that the, the armor hasn't been pierced or anything like that hmm. Okay, so you want to go outside or do you stick inside? Yeah, we're stopped and let's go outside. Maybe? Uh, I, The way Max just wants to do this at the moment is he's just want, he's going to take out a flashlight and just like just do the inside first. Interior check. Yeah. Okay. I would say this calls for a investigate check. Yeah. I do not have, I'm guessing, intellect here. Yep. Oh, no. Uh, nope, not my skill. That's a two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're pretty damn certain nothing got through. Mm. I'm probably saying that just as like I'm, my, I'm just jostling a spear. As I'm walking around <laughs> the back, you know, just gonna yeah. Excuse me, sitting down like the the guy that snuck into the back of the fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just sit there. You have a rebar steel spear in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing got through. <laughs> yeah. We should check the outside though, like right. Yeah, we should probably check the outside. Yeah, and let's come up with a plan. I'm gonna. I'll stop and. Keep the engine running in. Uh, okay, Mac, you've got the best armor defense among us. Mm. So you go out and look, just take a glance around. Uh, I'll be behind you where at the door where you're going out. I'll have loaded a, I know you're going to hit, no, I'll have loaded a stun grenade <laughs> into uh, the attachment on my rifle ready to shoot if they start shooting at us. If 
assuming they've even caught up to us. Yeah, you keep us covered, right, Dan? Yeah. Um, and I'll join you out there. You and IMAC will invest. We'll uh, take a look. Uh, oh, what did I, they do to my beauty? I, I just have my laser rifle out, and I'm just jumping out the back, a couple of steps forward, going into a crouch, and I'm just going, all right, you check the fan. Oh. Okay, so you go outside. Uh, first of all, give me some recon rolls. Those are those of you that uh, that are observing this uh, environment. Are we all observing the environment, but okay. That'd be no, yeah, because you're gonna yeah. be watching from the inside. It means well, I'm looking at the van, so that's a different thing. Exactly. Why is that with ones today? Yeah, yeah, three. Because you are you are number one. I wish. No, there's I, I, two ones there. Yeah, I got two ones. Actually, it's three ones. Yeah, you got three ones. If you count the boon and the bane. Okay. Yay. So, Dan, you know you are not alone in here. You have at least two friends. Okay. They're in the ruins. Ah. But they seem to be hiding. But you using the using your scientific equipment available in in there managed to capture a couple of heat signatures and you're like okay they are that's where they are hiding up there behind those rocks those rocks well that's perfect for a stunt grenade don't you think that's a this is pretty good for stunt grenade yes uh but on on other note those that that guy paying attention to the van notices that several of the projectiles have actually stuck into the armor. <laughs> it's which, like... is, which is surprising because the last time you checked, your armor oh, is made out of steel. And can I uh, yank? Can I investigate the spears? tips? What's what's, what's okay. the tips? Hold me a strength check. The mm. yank one out. Strength athletic. athletic strength or just strength? Strength athletics. Here we go. Yeah. Four. Wow. That is surprisingly deep in there, and like you try to yank it out, it's it's made out of you think rebar, rebar steel, mm -hmm. or some something similar. It feels like rebar steel. Just trying to yank it out. It's. It seems like it's welded in. Yeah, that one's too deep. Whoa. How many of them are stuck? You would say it's in the dozens. Wow. We're now a porcupine? Yep. Not a van? Porcupine. 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 <laughs> okay. Guys, there's a couple of them hiding up there. You want me to stun them, or try to stun them, or, or, yeah. Do you want to uh, like try and cut these things off, or whatever? Or do we really care if they're still stuck to us? Oh, actually, we do. We're yeah, I wouldn't to mind. Eventually, get get them out. Eventually, yeah. I'm concerned about those guys, though. Like. <sighs> I wonder if there's going to be a diplomatic solution to this. Well, let's send them and Mac and I go up. Let's let's all um, let's all move up there. At I like your plan. Stun them and we'll and we'll flank them. Are they within two hundred and fifty meters of you? Yes. Okay. I think that's the range. Of I'm gonna grab my uh, MP90. And put on the decoder glasses. So I have my personal hug glass as well. Okay, I don't actually have. Or maybe it's a hundred meters. Yeah, it's still within hundred meters. Okay. 
The plan is we go up there, we stun them, we try to get I can stun them from here. It's safer that way. All right, go for it. Uh, Call me an attack roll. I do believe grenade launches fall underneath the categorization of heavy weapon. Uh, it shouldn't be. It just attaches to a rifle. It's not really a heavy weapon. Oh, but... right. It's a rifle attachment. In that case, yeah, it will work. Don't come. It will work. So, do I just press stun grenade or do I press the accelerator rifle attack? Press. Yeah, it's the same damage. So press the accelerator rifle. Okay. Wow. Twelve. But that's the that's the damage from the accelerator rifle, not the. Oh, it's, it's, it's the same. It's total hit. Oh, okay. Mm. And let me just double check it. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yep. 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 The grenade goes through in the pile of rubble. What do you do then? That was, I think you hit them. Are, are they are they still moving? Uh, so. They have disappeared behind the rubble. Let's go, Mac. Okay. How far away are they? I'm going to reload another stun grenade. Yeah. And you guys can head up, and if you need to be fire, need to fire another one in there, let me know. I basically, if they pop up to throw spears at sure. uh, Doug and Mac, I'll just shoot another one before Doug and Mac get there. Mm, this is your territory, Mac. I'm going to let you lead. <laughs> yeah. So Mac's just going to go right behind, stay behind me. I will take the point. And let's, but stay not directly behind me because I'm just looking back and I can see you actually went like. Fumph. Point. Uh, no. uh, okay. All right. To the side, so you have a clear line of shot. Okay. Perfect. And the next thing is, see anyone stand up. I want you to get down on the ground. Make it harder for them to hit, hit you. And you just aim in their direction. And just take shots. Take if I see shots. either, if I see no. you guys go down because you're ducking. <sighs> I'll I'll take another shot. Mm. Right. All take right. A, take a couple of shots, then get up, move, rinse and repeat. Got it. You're you're telling Doug about shampoo rules with his hair. <laughs> <laughs> Doug has hair. Doug has uh, yeah, luscious hair. Blonde, uh, long, blonde, flowing hair. Mm -hmm. Just like mine. Surfer, did. yeah, totally. Oh, the picture shows black hair, but okay. Eh, it does. Brownish. Yeah, it does, but right. that's because. Anyways, yeah, uh, that's what we're we doing. move. We advance. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay, you advance up the hill. I'm not gonna even make you roll, but what you see is to. Two humanoid figures limp, limping between the uh, in in oh, what's it called? Yeah, Bridge. you climb climb up up the debris to the level you saw the characters, and they are they are carrying along further away from you as you get up there. They clearly haven't realized that you have already gotten up up there and uh, are scaring hunched hunched down in the darkness. You see their shadows as they. Uh, as they're getting away, and further along, along you see, against the night sky, a plethora of these similar creatures coming your way from the where you were before. There's dozens. How far away are they? Uh, quick judgment, about 150 meters. They should reach you in about a minute. Right. A uh, bunch of them? A whole lot of them. Right. It's like uh, they're, they're the jumping farm. from uh, jumping from building to building, and you can see this wave of these creatures 
Okay, just yeah. jumping with with hands holding <laughs> holding holding uh, several several spears. And so at this point, <laughs> Stevens just comically going, running back. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. Start but, the van, Dan. <laughs> Start the van. <laughs> All right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's a reason why Mac is a live special ops forces guy. He knows when to bug out. Okay. Right. The battle is in the battle is not enough, baby. Get the heal it. Yep. All right. We have the option to run. We I, run. Uh, okay, I, I've started the van. I've gone back to the back door where they're going to get back in. I'm replacing the a uh, stun grenade with a frag grenade and waiting till the guys get behind me just in case there's a large clump of them. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the guys do get into the van pretty quickly, getting getting down down the debris, debris field, diving in, slamming the door closed behind them, I assume. Yes. If they aren't, I'm going to pull it closed behind them. Yeah. Heck, you might should just throw out, shoot out one of those fragments anyway. So, you, do you want to speed out of here, or what, what's your plan? Yeah, we're, it out we're and shoot, shooting. Shoot from um, the inside. I could, yeah, I could actually just, like, shoot one over the uh, building that they were at. Just randomly shoot one over that. Mm. You could. See if that might slow them down. You definitely could. And then we'll and then we'll we'll peel peel the top, peel out of there and just drive randomly in the forward direction. <laughs> and then I'm gonna need you to navigate. Or we'll okay. fuck it. So I like the plan. Let's throw the grenade and get okay. the fuck out of here. A warning shot to them to stop chasing us. Yes. Okay. Uh, give me a persuasion roll. Persuasion roll? Isn't the grenade oh, 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 persuasion? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Give me a diplomacy roll. What the fuck? I don't have either of these, I'm sure. Um, because because the, uh, war is just the extent of diplomacy. With a big stick, yes. Um, okay, that's diplomat, I guess? Yeah. With which? I would say with strength. Okay. That's a weird concept, but okay. Uh, okay uh, this isn't going to work, but okay. Use intellect, uh, and you're going to get a boon for using a grenade with it. Okay. Okay. Well, then just add one to this because I've already rolled for with social or with strength, but uh, in, uh, intellect would give me plus one. So that would be five. With a boon, which would be. Oh, uh, oh sorry. So that would be so... eight plus. So nine. Yeah. Well, uh, you manage to gas it out of here. Uh, you you hear the boom. You see several shapes going from the from the center of the light show, and uh, you diplomacy you is not the solution. You floor it and get get out of there. Okay, I assume. Yes, that yes, was the plan I was given. <laughs> peeling out, yes, that was one hundred percent the plan, and I'm not even I'm not even looking back at the explosion. <laughs> <laughs> I like that diplomat with strength. That's kind of a cool concept. <laughs> well, yeah, that would be more intimidation, but okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, no, no, no. There are plan. occasions occasions where you can be a diplomat with strength. That's that's usually when you negotiate with the Klingon Federation. Mm. It, it, it's when it's when you you are going you just take the head off of the mouth of Sauron. They mm. close the negotiations. Oh, sorry, not Klingon Federation. The Klingon em Empire. Yeah, Klingon Federation. That's almost as strange as almost he was right. Um, all right. Uh, uh, it, it is it is from the time when the Klingon Empire was part of the Klingon Federation. So uh, the <laughs> the United Federation of Planets. And during that time, it was technically a federation. Okay, so here's the, the navigation role you wanted. Ooh, maybe Ooh. we found our way. Yay, yeah, yeah. Double you, sixes. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. To uh, as you as you're flo flooring it and you're reminiscing about about booms and big things, you realize that uh, hey, wait a minute, you recognize that street. You check up them on the map and they'll like to take the next next left and voila, <laughs> voila. After just a few minutes, you are at uh, you are in sight of the of the target. It's within inside of right it. Right over there. Yeah, I heard inside the Stargate, but okay, yeah, yeah inside in, of it. Okay. Inside of the... Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is my pronunciation that is most awkward. Yes. Yeah. Why are pronounce and pronunciation pronounced differently? <laughs> yes. Because English has no fixed rules. Mm -hmm. The best part of English is every word can be verbed. <laughs> That's that's my favorite English thing. Oh, could be. I'll just, is it? Can it? Oh. Whatever. Moving on. I need space for this. I will frigging recon you if you don't. <laughs> You've been penguined. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just really the tone. Listen, I'm going to Steven you. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. You better do tactic. All right. No, tic that didn't work. You, you should be tic tac <laughs> Tacticianed. Okay. Tactician your way out of it. Oh. Exactly. So, so, here's the deal. You have the gate in sight. Are you going to abandon the mission? Leave the planet? Or are you going to Re, uh, go back, recoup, re reorganize, get reinforcements, or are you going to do something completely different? A man with three buttons. Sorry. Well, you could always summon the uh, summon the hair of Kerbanak. The who of what? The white hair of Kerbanak. I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's the one you, you use the holy hand grenade. For. Oh, the holy hand grenade of Antioch. Yes. Okay. Did you? Um, well, let's discuss things a bit here while we're in the clear. I, I'm. Uh, I, I'm not exactly sure that's how you pronounce it though, because it's in Welsh, and I don't. Sw I don't Welsh. I, I just know how it's written. <laughs> you verbed Welsh. I'm Welshing out of this discussion. <laughs> Well done, well done. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I'm Scott Free now. <laughs> Low price Scott. Um, okay. So I can think of two problems. One, the natives who seem to only come out at night don't like us very much. There was like a lot. Like it was kind of creepy. Did we get a good look at them at all? No. They seem to be they seem to be humans, and they were definitely avoiding being seen properly. Yeah, the natives don't like us at all. When they come out at night. That's problem one. What else? Um. We have a shit ton of spears stuck in our van. Yep. Yeah. Surprisingly, very effective. Um, let's take a look and see what the let's see how much. I'm gonna take a close another look at the van again and and see. Now that we have really good time, if there any. If we could remove one, how many of these we could remove, investigate how deep they go, experimentations on it. Uh, okay, so you're gonna do Mac, you want to help me with, with this? Yeah, so what Mac's gonna do is he's just gonna walk up to one of the spears, and if he feels like there's like a wee bit of resistance, he's just gonna 
let a bit of the armor help. Oh. Ooh, call me? You know what? Electronics, jeez. With your I, intellect. I can't say intellect. Yes. Electronics? This is one of the one of the few things you can't help him with. Alright. Let's try this. Nope. What did you get? You got a three. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um but what you do get is you now have a black blade underneath your arm. Cut the this, damn is, thing. this is what you were trying to do a few times <laughs> a few times before and that happened. Mm -hmm. You have no idea which command did that. <sighs> you have a blade that extends underneath your arm. I just actually uh, just to test it out, I'm just gonna put the blade against the rebar. And just oh, slide. Yeah. It, it it feels like cutting on 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 meat. It 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 gives you some resistance. You have to push a little, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that actually resolved my real second problem, and that was we probably couldn't have gotten through the gate with these things sticking out. Mm. Now here's a. Here is a real <laughs> bit. Does Mac do that with? Do you want Doug to see that or not? I think at the moment he's not even thinking about Doug being there. You know. Whoa! What the fuck, dude? And that's when it dawns on him. <laughs> and it's literally at that point. Mac just like turns around and just go, our secret. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? How? <sighs> Not much of a secret when, you, when you've got Doug going, whoa, what the fuck? Oh, what? Oh, he's doing the black thing again. Okay, whatever. Yeah, okay. Does <laughs> Dan know about this? Does... Uh, Jael? Jael? Does Jael know about this? Oh, VT Mitten, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Glad to have you on board. Oh, I meant... Not been advertising that. I... What else can it do? Can you do? Like, how? What? <sighs> it's... Is that the thing that detected it's... from you? It's like built into you. I'm just going to walk around, take out all the other spears first. Okay. Just. There's, there's like the ding, 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 as the rebar spears are dropping down. Down one by one by one from the hull of the uh, hull of uh, your vehicle. Leave one of them in for a sec, Mac. I want to see if we can actually get one out and actually look at the end of it. Sure. To see what the point is, or if it's just, just like just sharpened rebar. Just, just while I'm doing that, I'm that just going to try one. and retract the blade. Okay. Uh, try and retract the blade. Well, you know what to do. <laughs> you still don't have a skill point in this. This is all your <laughs> raw talent. I know. Nope. You know what? It does work. <laughs> the, the thing thought you meant, keep fighting, keep chopping. Oh, you failed. Oh, okay, I'll retract. <laughs> <laughs> I retract the statement. No, I don't. <laughs> but we have one of those still left 
one stuck in yeah, the one, one in the back, one in the back or something like that. I just want to see what the point looks like because otherwise they're just stuck yeah, in the armor. You you only really need to take take care of the sides and the top, front and back. Yeah. yeah. Let's all work together to pull one of these out. All together now. All Where's... together. Mm -hmm. Mac, I'll assist you. Worst case scenario, in, we yes, take the winch. We we take the winch. We attach it to this thing around a, uh, a a building, a piece of rubble, whatever, and use the winch to pull it out if necessary. Do you want to do it out uh, in here, or, or do you want to do you want to go to Stargate uh, through the Stargate first? Oh, I forgot that. Do was it, and then maybe best to do it in a secure location. I suppose. Yes, as far yeah. as you know, you are still in their territory, and they yeah. might just use your standing still as an opportunity to regroup, get get you surrounded, and start pelting you while you're outside. Yeah, it's still nighttime. Like, should we? Do you want to wait till daytime here, or do you want to just get out? Get out. I don't think. Us three going against this horde of. Yeah, we could get go back and get reinforcements. And try it again in the daytime. And the sooner we, uh, sooner we uh, activate the uh, BRD and our signal, so we don't get pin cushioned, um, the sooner we can get back here. All right. You are already pin cushioned, so you have nothing to fear. Hmm. No, the other kind of pin cushion. <laughs> now that that would be um, what's the word minced? That's a good kind of meat. Minced meat. It's very if we cost. go back though, that's and that's not end the mission. Can we be like, hey, we need to go back, or we want to go back again? No, a tactical hour. retreat. It's a tactical retreat. Yeah. It it entirely depends on your report. Yeah. And we got some goodies. We have some goodies with us. So, you head through the Stargate. Your command lines are approved, and you get a signal back saying, Get on, you git. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you drive your vehicle through, and you arrive on the other side. As their program and the gate closes behind you as your occupying arouses curious looks from the on uh, from the local audience. It'd be kind of cool if we left some porcupines out the back, sneaking <clears throat> into the gate, and then whoosh, cut off. <laughs> the freaks come out at night. Huh. Well, it's daytime now, but. Welcome anyway. <laughs> Says the gatekeeper. What about the keymaster? Oh, 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 she's she's probably sleeping with the boss now. Oh, I thought that was Rick Moranis. Um Ah. Oh that was a Ghostbusters reference. Yeah. Oh, I did get that. That's oh. nice. Oh. You nerds are all alike. All right, so we've returned. The van is porcupined. <sighs> so, you got several projects that you want to take care of while you're here, don't you? Yep. They're not in a particular rush. And we're finally, finally in the position where you return from a mission and we still have two and a half hours of game back. So we can actually see what happens when you return instead of just skipping over it. Nice. So, first of all, you got some loot. Do you want to hand that over to the local investigation team or what? Yeah, like, here's the uh, scrolls, jewels, the diary of, of man and wife. Um, plus the, so, uh, we have, yeah, we have a bunch of, yeah, and the we cigars. have, um, the batteries or the whatever they are. Oh, the okay. tubes, the battery tubes, a 
complete electronics. Oh, floppy disk or data storage. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Data storage. And with the Do you have any idea what's on, on it? The complete history of what happened in the event. Okay. We'll tie in over it if we have. Uh, this is technology that we are not familiar with. It looks like a Nintendo piece, to be honest, but I doubt my I help. NES is going to run it. I could help with that. I, I took pictures of all the connections, the computer technology, mm -hmm. plus I have a sense of what it's going to. Uh, you know what? How to extract it. You know what? Yeah. You you have experience on what, what machines will like, so you probably have an idea how we're going to decode this. Because programming is next step, and that's going to take a while. We're going to have to figure out the basics of how the computer systems work. And, you know. Well, it's going to be a fun ride. The, uh, the technology seemed to be not even advanced in as much as our level. Their, their computers were, well, at least the, the one in the main office of the head guy of the uh, bunker seemed to be an older technology. Hmm. And, of course, they still had scrolls. So it's a really contradictory technology level. Hmm. Like, they advanced really quickly, and we're still in the midst of... Uh, half civilization of one and the other, but the buildings were very impressive. It's like an alternate version of what could have been for us. Hmm, fascinating. Oh, um, lots of footage and over <laughs> copies of the hmm. uh, videotape. Yes, so why don't we do a division label here? Um, Mac, why don't you see the, the... See to the spears stuck on your on your vehicle. Yeah. See see if you can figure that thing out. Uh Doug, you help me with this computer thing. And Dan, once we get these things, can you handle the translation of whatever we find from here? Or is there something you want to do meanwhile? Sure, or I can help Doug either way. Oh yeah. Well, you can also do that. So Meanwhile, while you're while you're discussing this in the, oh, discussing this in the board boardroom over there with Doctor McKay, uh, the gate opens and there's an announcement: incoming t incoming team. And you you look out, look out at the gate and see a team of team of four people in 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 uniform uh uniform arriving. Followed, followed by a, uh, followed by a, armored, personal carrier. Wow. Coming in. Ah. The Bravo squad is back. Didn't expect them so early. Were they were going, they going? To the? Uh, sorry, we're both going to ask the same question, right? Go ahead, go ahead, to please. the cave. Oh, yeah, yeah. They went to the cave and came back within the day. This, this was their second mission, actually. Hmm. While well, we were gone, so. All right. All right. Um. Also, I'm looking at this. You only have recordings for two days. Or like, um, twenty-four hours here. You were gone for a week. What? 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 <laughs> we all say what? Well, what did you do in the rest of the time? No, we were there for a day. We, we got there. It was daytime. When we left, it was that night. It wasn't a week. Yeah. I mean, like no. totally. No, th because at no point did we turn off our recorders. Are you telling me that we've lost an entire week with the time while we were there? That doesn't make sense. What are you? We were only there for 24 hours. Even less than that. Not, not even My clock is like 16. Yeah. 
No, no. It's... Um, basically, Mac's just going to take a watch off and it's got one of these ones where it's you... got the date on oh. it. Goes, yeah. Look at you left watch. on the third and it's now Yeah, the I've 12. got the fourth here. I've got the fourth here. Well, it's the, it's the twelfth. Time dilation effect. Dan, what would cause uh, that? I'm thinking... Uh, actually... Just a sec. Uh, uh, okay, I, I I need to talk to my uh, teammates here. Nice. Uh, guys, we not may not be back on our own world. Somehow we might be in an alternate timeline. I don't know if that's even possible. I'm gonna ask McKay a couple of. Innocuous questions like uh, uh, you are trying to poke whether yeah. or not he's the Mackay you know. Yeah, that and and other things like like who's the president and. Let's see which <laughs> skill would be the most suitable for this. I I I would say raw education. Since you're asking general questions. Actually, actually, you need to convince him that you're not just ball, uh, teasing him. So that's persuasion. With education. Oh. Oh, he rolled a 10, so that's pretty uh, good. Is, that was education. Sorry, you want persuasion. I'm not so persuasive, I don't think. So uh, you take minus two to do that? So, okay. Actually, it would be with education. Yeah. Uh, persuasion, education. So that would be plus three, minus three, plus three. So it would be whatever I rolled plus six. You have no, you... no plus three. It would be whatever I rolled plus three. thirteen. Three. So no, no. It would be whatever I rolled. So seven plus. It would be the same number, ten. Because I get plus three for education. I get minus three for lack of skill and plus three for jack of all trades. Ah, oh, you got all three. Jack of yeah. all trades. So okay. So it's it's your education roll. So yes. Uh, you do a quick study aside of the date. Mm, this seems like your. This seems like Earth. The stock eight corporation, you know. Quickly go onto my smartphone. Oh, they don't exist. I was gonna yeah. check my bank account and see if it's got the right amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> well, like that's totally weird, and that'll have to be investigated. Why we lost an entire weeks worth of time? So let's. Interesting. I don't know about time space continuum stuff, so but I got maybe there's some clues in this in this. Floppy drive. That's mind boggling. I don't feel older. Oh. Oh, did did Bravo team experience anything similar to this? No. Not that I know. They went went in and came back within a day. And then they took a second mission to follow the first one. They found some clues and needed new equipment, so... They took a week off between the missions? Oh, no, no, no. They took two days off, went back with the, with the APC, and then came back now. I'm they're probably going to have a debrief as soon as they cleared by the medical. Mm. All right. Right. So you want to go study the device. So go ahead. Let's have a, let's have a look. See, look. See, something. Give me some electronics checks, will you? And right. uh, you're gonna get it with a boon since you have access to a lab. Nice. And meanwhile, Stephen Macdonald. Are you gonna detach some spearheads? No, I'm just gonna use. I'm just gonna use bulk stat human strength there. To try the and... athletic strength, and since you have access to tools, uh, you get a boon. Nine. Yeah, which seems to be the electronics check rolled by. Sir. 
Actually, no. Uh, I've no, got a boon, you said. Uh, yeah. Ah, you got so a boon, so that 12. increases that 12. So, yeah. It's um, tough. It's tough. But you get yourself and... some good grip gloves and get you, get yourself get yourself situated. Uh, hammer it a couple of times just to loosen it up and then you pull it out. <sighs> You notice that uh, whatever the tip was, mm -hmm. it's not longer sharp. It has, it has spread out inside your vehicle like it was made, uh, like it was hollow point ammo. Uh, hollow point spear tips, amazing. So like a barbed arrow. Yeah. Okay. But. Uh, you you can clearly see it was at some point a sharp <coughs> sharpened, but when it impacted, it just got stuck stuck in there. And when you pulled it out, you actually pulled out the steel that was surrounding it. And the, the material is now harder than the steel it was uh, it was surrounded by. If it wasn't that to begin with, so. And I rolled a ten with the boon. I wonder if I could have used. Do I have? I wonder if I could use when my. Uh, when does my thing recharge? I probably could have used it for this session. Oh, uh, that was last session. Yeah. This is this is this session. Oh. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Let's add three to that then for a total of thirteen. You need to tell this to me before you roll. Then never mind. <laughs> Ten is perfectly acceptable. Because yeah, you're right, that's fair, fair, fair. I actually want to work with Mac at some point and help him with Ooh. his belt problem. Uh -huh. But I wanted to learn how to use this first. So, <laughs> because... uh, examining the floppy disk with your time and time available. Yeah, you uh, with your natural talents you have an inkling and since especially since you had examined the technology closer up you have some some inkling what to do where to go what to find out that you manage to crack the code and you can retrieve the data what is surprising that despite the level of the technology the amount of data here is more than more than the than the media size would let you understand. While you pride yourselves in your 10 megabyte zip drives, <laughs> <laughs> this device records data in the gigabytes. What the fuck? This could hold like the entire Library of Congress. Wow. Wow. Yeah, most, of those, just... most of those books are dull anyways. <laughs> hmm? In theory, you can get on 10, 10 megabytes. You know have... If you've got the right compression algorithm, that's the issue. I wonder if uh, Fifty Shades of Grey is in the Library of Congress. If somebody donated it, yes. Uh, I remember it was my fiancé talking about... How, terrorism. You know, how... <laughs> Um, great the library of alexandria must have been because mm. it was like basically it was one of the f things was you had to bring in new books right and i'm just going with yeah it's maybe a good thing it's burned down unfortunately because can you imagine the amount of tra there will be an entire section that's just devoted mm. to <laughs> god awful <laughs> fan fiction for twilight <laughs> Uh, a, fun, a fun fact. And the Library of Alexander, uh, Alexandria was as big because of the fact that every, sh every ship was inspected for books. If it had mm. any books, that was confiscated. And whoever owned the book would get a copy of it. But the original <laughs> was, st was stashed in the library. Wow. This was not voluntary. You went, you went into Alexandria, and that was a law. You gave up every book you had, and that was. Could you that... imagine if if it's 
if you're divorcing the wife and you're wanting to punish her, you take her slutty romance books into Alexandria. Uh, into Alexandria. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, you know, all oh, the original copies with the signatures. I, I want to oh. read some ancient, I want to read some ancient erotica yeah. now. It's, a, it's some a Greek sh- mythos sh- erotica. Sh- <laughs> it's a shame Hercules' greatest at triumphs by biggest dickest just disappeared, oh. my dear. The erotic adventures of Mr. Redwood all disappeared. No. Oh my goodness. The original copies, oh no, the first edition, oh no. <laughs> But back then, it was a lot more, a lot more rare to have the same thing written twice. One book was one book, so any book <laughs> coming into harbor was probably unique anyway. Yeah. Can I make a suggestion? It's four fifty. Can we have a ten minute break? Yeah, let's have a ten minute break. So, ladies and gents, we'll be back at the hour. Until that, enjoy yourselves and this three minute ad break. <laughs> and, and all the donuts. Hello, hello, hello. It's time for a drink. Skull. I'm drunk. Rooster's been drinking. Fantastic. Let's make the nice <laughs> Drunky stream now. Yes. Yes, we're trained on the same. You've always been drinking on the stream. You just don't know it because you can't smell us. Yes. Yes. What's what's really mixed in with this Coke Zero? I mean, the only one of us is uh, only one of us sober is actually John because, as a Scot, he needs to be he needs to be sober to act like drunk. <laughs> <laughs> it's It's also, also very difficult to get him drunk. <laughs> I don't know. No, I've been, I've practically been teetotal the last couple of years. Just I, I actually mixed Coke Zero with blueberry vodka. Oh. Mm, it was actually quite nummy. Uh, little known fact, uh, they don't have water in taps in Scotland. It's just scotch. Hmm. So he, 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 when he says he's teetotaling, he's only, t- only drinking what the tap brings him. <laughs> Let me put it this way. That would, our water bills would go up in price. Yeah. Here's the thing. Can you actually, what happens if you boil alcohol? Or like, like you boil you vodka br- or... Yeah, Try you it. Huh? Try it. Uh, it depends. Uh, hold on, what is the boiling point? You... It evaporates out the alcohol and leaves the stuff, right? That's why people say, like, put some wine into your... I mean, I don't know. Wine into your Never sauce. Never tried it. Okay. Well, yeah, you put wine into your sauce because the alcohol releases some of the flavor enzymes in in the sauce, making, making, it, more, uh, making the base materials more richer in flavor. Oh. That's how it works. Add wine to... Also, oh, make... <laughs> to hot sauce. Got it. Add wine to hot sauce. I don't Got know. Uh, the, the, effect, <laughs> the effect depends on the materials you use them on, obviously, because that's, that's just chemistry. But I know what's the basis on point, it. Alcohol's boiling point is lower than that of water. And so. many cooks assume that little or none of its potency remains after cooking. Research tells differently. Cooked food can retain from five to eighty-five percent of the original alcohol. Yep, five percent, uh, but up to five percent. All right, well, good. Uh, cool. Five to eighty-five. Yeah, five to eighty-five. So, so it's it's almost all or almost none. I guess it depends on how long you boil it for. Anywho, back to Anywho. this. Back Google. to the do. Yeah, you're uh, you're literally just chewing fat while waiting for the computer to decode the information. Uh, it being gigabytes worth of data, so it's gonna take a while. Yeah, especially because you're, 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 you're you haven't get you're literally having to get a cart of floppies. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's it's. I have a whole system set up like there's wires everywhere, and it's all like 
very jerry rig like it's all open there like if you touch any of the wires it would be sparks and yeah. it goes from that drive to like the computer and from the computer to the whole thing to a floppy or to a, a zip no, drive no. <laughs> military oh. thing and we're like okay bring in more stuff is in it's still decoding. yeah it's, it's, you have this you ordered in server racks for this operation <laughs> No, no, it's just big, the old magnetic tape reels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's doing its, it's doing its thing. It'll take some time. This technology would sleep our computer progress even further. I mean, we are still implementing the, the science from... Science from... <clears throat> Duncan. And... Wow, even those we... We're still cracking the surface of what we can do. And this thing, this thing would definitely help with that effort. So. I smell payday. <laughs> yeah, it smells a lot like a payday. Indeed. All right. Alcoholic payday. Meanwhile, uh, Stephen, I mean, Mac, do you want to... Do some sort of analysis on your newly found weapon material. Do you have any science skills to do that with, or do you want to no, export don't. that to someone else? I or subcontract but... it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have. Um, what would I have? No, I'm. Um... Uh, I'll be better to hand it over to the the techs. Okay, you hand it over oh. to Tex. Tex I'm can attack. Talk to you. <laughs> and you, you are in other projects at the moment. Yes. They so probably, they should probably also, I'm working with Doug, yeah, I know. They'll probably also take advantage of the actual shielding of the dismantling the van so you can see the penetration and you can do their measurements. Damn, we're buying another van. <laughs> Corporation is buying us another van. Oh, uh, okay. See what I did there? They're repairing yeah. the hole, because it's part of the scientific evidence. Mm hmm mm hmm But it's only, uh, it's very easy to repair, it's just all the plating you need to weld back. Yeah. Not, not, not like this old I'm... Russian vehicle was any better at the beginning. It's, uh, what, what my contribution to the analysis is I basically, I will help line up other weapons and take port shots next to the armor for comparative reviews. See, if you use an armor piercing bullet, it does this, but when we throw a spear like this... Yeah, throw, a, throw a human spear. Thunk! Dink! Look, it put a teeny tiny scratch and that's all. And it's all the scratches in the paint. <laughs> also now that once we're here to all we once we let's see dan's gonna still read the stuff at some point i want to work with mac on your little black belt mm. okay. but i think they might have to wait until we get this language cracked shit well that language might take weeks, to be honest, given your computing bow. Yeah. In that case, maybe I do have time to work to work on to see what I got on work with Mac. Dan, you want to help with this? Sure. I was helping you with the other stuff. I may as well help you with this. Let's find some secret research time. Let's see, we'll find a. And, and we need we need a song to go with this, you know, for the montage. We need a song. Oh, you want me to do? We need a hero. Because <laughs> we totally can. Or the uh, uh... <gasps> Iron Man. <laughs> Or the or the oh. the Black Knight from uh, oh I've actually I've got, I have uh, the tiger I have the tiger yes 
Actually, it's cool because it's only one one note over and over and over again. It's just. <laughs> Time to get copyright struck. <laughs> <laughs> it's one note. How can we get struck on one note? Fuck that bullshit. <laughs> you know what? You, th this is a funny thing. Is oh, copyright courts are insane with mm -hmm. like because when you actually like look at some of the stuff that's like oh that's quite similar and it's going they're completely different notes, but. If you look at the actual notes, and then they go, nope, that's still too similar. No, but sounds, sounds too similar. Yeah, the computer can't make Rising it Rising up, back on the street. The guy can't take my chances. No, we're not going to do this song. All right, here we go. <laughs> so montage of us doing the electronics. Let's see, working on your bell, trying to get the, the little sparks happening. <laughs> Uh, meanwhile, so we're, I've got like a, a head thing hooked up, like a weird electronic head thing hooked up to your, uh, all of these sensors on your brain connected to a monitor, doing a little scanning thing, x-ray machine, and we're, I'm gonna use this time to help you get a little bit of, uh, handle on how to use this and, and unlock some of its secrets. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'm going to use all seven of my electronic points uh, if for the day or for the session on this to assist. Okay, sure. Go ahead. All right, we get all this. All you right. have access to lab conditions, so you get a boot as well. And because Dan is there helping me with that as well. All right, so let me see. Uh, uh, so don't roll anything yet. Dan, go first. Uh, Dan, go first. Uh, which electronics education? Yeah. My best one. Yeah. An 11. So or, that gives you a plus four. All or, right. thir or 13 if you have a boon. No, you don't get a boon. Uh, Assist okay. doesn't get the boon on the main. Right. So plus four, plus I'm dumping my whole seven points on this. That makes plus, it plus, plus 11. 11. <laughs> and we're going to boon this. Here comes a 20. Oh, 23! Oh, you rolled actually, poorly. Uh, actually, actually, you rolled average. 25. 25 with the boon. <laughs> oh, good point. Yeah, the boon uh, lifts us up by two points. 25. Yeah. Which, according to my difficulty scale over here, means it's, uh, it's over the difficulty scale. <laughs> <laughs> you accomplished the impossible. The it's the thrill of the fight. <laughs> Rising up to right. the challenge. Okay, as you start analyzing, what the hell is going on here? But your first instinct is, this amount of data is unnatural for any computer. Then you realize that, yeah, any computer except yours, your talent manifesting itself as you start, start analyzing how it works, how it functions, how it is impossible for Doug's understanding to completely guide it. Uh, no, not Doug's, but Mac's understanding of uh, computers. You manage to peek at what he's able to comprehend because every time <coughs> Mac acknowledges something, there's a, there's a log marking on the system. Like every time he, he understands something, there's a log marking, log marking, log marking. So, He's catching maybe 1% at best of what's happening. But he's getting all of it feedback to him at a speed his mind can't, can't, can't comprehend. And you can help him. You can definitely help him. But it's going to come at cost, cost to you. You can sacrifice one of your electronics ranks and transfer that over to Mac. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, let's do this. Mac, like totally. It's like we need to put a, a, uh, a governor, you know, like cars. 
they go really really fast so like the laws like look you're not allowed to go over 120 miles per hour like we got to do one of those for you but a special like psychic version of it isn't it more for the belt that needs the governor who doesn't feed him so much so quickly it's got to be both at the same time if you allow it this all this all hurt both of us a bit but like you'll be able to control it better what do you say you know the risks and the rewards let me put this way me not being able to control this thing put me at risk all right here we go then and i too put in one of my <laughs> the same like ridiculously weird headgear thing that steven has on dr brown <clears throat> back to the future yes <laughs> yeah Start to hack the planet <laughs> okay. okay we gotta and, get your brain um, up to 88 miles an hour <laughs> yeah i will drop uh for my in i will drop a point of electronics and that point is transferred to Stephen McDonald. Stephen's skill goes from nothing to plus one. The one. Remember the uh, market that's zero. trained. What was that? So, this one. Or then, I, just I, make, just double check. Oh. So we're just putting it up to skill zero, aren't we? No, one. One. Yeah, we're putting that up to a nub. That's what I was a plus one because mm -hmm. and, and click train. Yeah. So all of this knowledge about computers flows into your head. It's not natural for you. The, the knowledge is on a higher tier than you would have ever cared to understand about computers. This, uh, it's a. Uh, these are things that I cannot explain because I don't have that that much understanding of computers. Doug has. It's like, you know, the how-to systems, the basics of how to navigate through complex systems yeah. written in electronics. Un Just the basics. Unfortunately for Doug, those memories are weakened in his mind. Because it is a transfer and it's a one-way. For some reason, it Copy and paste doesn't work. Only transfer. It's cut and paste. It's a cut and paste. Yeah. And the price has been paid. Your understanding of computers slow. It gets weaker. It burns. It stings. But you think it's oh. worth it. There's a little bit of smoke coming from your device. As the transfer is happening. <laughs> the uh, scariest yeah. part of all of this? Mm -hmm. I now have the highest electronics. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, um. Well, Mac, whoa. How do you feel? Part of it about these rules of the internet stuff. Oh yeah, don't ever follow thirty-four. That's a favorite rule. I'm forget about when I, 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 I want to look this up. Um, don't follow order sixty-six. <laughs> it's gonna take like some time for you to adjust. So you probably rest a little bit. Uh, yeah, but I mean, you okay? Do you feel any different? You've improved by plus four on your uh, rolls. So that should be make things much easier. It's just pounding. We cook in Doug's brains, yeah. 
<laughs> but the effects are being we're cooking Doug's brain, but we're the effects are being felt by John. Or sorry, Matt. <laughs> All right. Well, let's check in in a couple of days. On the days, good cause... news, on the good news, Mac, Mac now understands how to start limiting the information being fed to you. You are a you, you now instinctively know where to sort of click the switch that like this is this information is garbage, 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 garbage. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. I don't need this. Like specifically ask for this, specifically ask for this. These sort of buttons are being as you're looking around, you're just mentally giving giving the machine the right orders to stop giving it. It's gonna take you a couple of days to get accl acclimatized, but every decision just reduces the information overload and your brain feels at ease finally. Somebody three floors up is cooking bacon. I'm imagining like I'm the pop-up ads, <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, yeah. you have to click the X, yeah. and not the X that they make you bake. It, that's the fake X. You have to click the proper top right-hand corner X right there. Mm. That's how they trick you. Up uh, here, and click here, and then click. So you finally learn how to click on the yeah. X of all the pop-up ads. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And somebody, somebody upstairs is indeed cooking bacon and adding it to chocolate. <laughs> and selling it to Finland, like, how did you know that part? I don't... Yes, he's learned all about Alt F four. Close that application. Close that application. Close that. <laughs> 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 uh... Right. Meanwhile, do you have any other projects you wish to partake on, or shall we skip to the parts where you get money? I really like to figure something out about the gold one. Which gold one? My gold belt. Oh, that one. Okay. What do you want to do with it? Um, now that Mac's brain is um, right. settled out a little bit, um, I wonder if he could get his uh, belt friend to analyze my belt and see if there's any way to activate it. So you're going to reveal that you've got one. I mean, oh yeah, I, I, I already told you I took it. Right. All right. When I cast an eye over the gold belt, what comes up for me? All me. Intellect Electron. electronics. Jesus. It's been once over day seven. Seven. Uh, it registers as a as a type 24 armor suit. All right. Deactivate it. Just now that I've got a bit more information from Doug about how computers work, I'm looking for the about section for my one. So Dan's got oh. a type 24 armor suit. I'm looking for what's your about. Oh, Microsoft. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so you Upgrade. want the information about your armor? Yes. About it's like, well, look at your own belt. <laughs> you have type Omega. Right. That's a great answer. Uh, That's a great I, I, answer. I'm just wanting, I'm going to actually just try and see if the thing gives me, you know, clarifies what I'm just going to ask. 
what's the difference between type omega and a type 24? You get a list, like, uh, how do you call it? You, you know those change logs? Mm. That This one just lasts a few thousand pages. Well, <laughs> too specific, too bad of a question. <laughs> That's great. Right. There, there, there's numbers going up, up and down and uh, up and down and there's uh, attributes associated with them. And uh, some of them are in the original language. Some of them are roughly translated for you to understand to, to the computer language, but... Mm. And it's confirming it's deactivated. A lot of them, a lot of them are like, uh, how do you call it? What you can understand are minor changes in here and there. You're not entirely sure if that's better or worse. Some of them are better, some of them are worse, but uh, you think. But given that you have no science in metallurgy or or engineering S background. Stamina lot... at the sacrifice of strength versus mm. this one's quicker, but this one's weaker. This one's yeah. stronger, but this one's slower. It... This is a thing that's gone. Just looking over at Dan's belt again, I just I just asked the question. How is that activated? Passkey. 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 I think you need to know the, the activation word of some kind. Well, Mr. Hacker, <clears throat> that would be uh, you, Doug. It's like, I'll give it a shot, but from what I know from Max Belt, it's not as easy like that. I'm getting a sneaking suspicion my one was always activated. Well, this one was activated when it was yeah, zero one two three. <laughs> Good one, Froggy. Um, Sixty nine four twenty. Nice. Three one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three four six two six four three three eight three two seven nine five zero. Um. Yeah, this one was activated when it was on Legless Man. Yeah, oh, he probably was he, has... was he an elf. He was no, legless. He was, he, was... he was legless. Oh yeah. boy, yeah. You already made that joke, you know? I, mean, I did? Oh. Yes, yeah. Sorry. Old man forgets things. Yes. What were we talking about? Oh, right. Um, yeah. That This might take some time to crack, I'm assuming. But uh, I'll give it a shot. Go ahead. Make my day. Oh, open. by the way, how long of a time are you going to use that? Does he get plus two for every time, Dan? Ah, oh, never mind. Uh, you already rolled. Uh, nine. Nope. Well, you, you give it a try, you you find your hacking software, and... Nope, nada, nothing. You're pretty sure the belt isn't even registering your... registering on your... on your software. Yeah, like, it's similar, but, like, totally different. It's like Mac versus PC. It's like, you wouldn't get it. You mean Mac versus Dan? Uh... <laughs> um, is there any interface that this thing has of any kind? Not that he can find. It's it's hooked up to my gear and on the screen there's a few like minor prompts, but no, I'm I'm thinking 
I'm going to oh. regret this. Um, I was thinking if there was, is there any way I can plug the belt into a certain location? And I don't know if Wooster knows what I'm talking about. No, please explain. Um, um, Something secret about you you don't want to share? Oh, no. Um, oh, that. Yes. Right. It doesn't seem to have a correct res uh, right receptacle to it. I, I'm, I was thinking we'd have to make one that was that would hook it up, but that's what I'm saying. Is there any any way to hook anything up to this thing? You don't see anything. You could try making one. Okay. The, that runs the risk of actually damaging important systems on that. If it's all packed up in that one location, that's probably also very densely packed. So if you puncture the wrong part, you may completely disabled the armor. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, I guess. Fair point. Yeah, that's a USB cable, dude. Yes. <laughs> so what do you want? The old electronics education thing again, or? I think this is more along the lines of engineering. Yeah. Engineering. You need to engineer a solution. Oh. I'm much more likely to screw it up then. Uh... Yep. Uh... Eh, still plus three. Want to help me, Doug? I mean, yeah. Want to help me, Doug? Are you, are you any good at engineering? Not in the least. Oh. What what about, about, I'm what totally about, no, software, not hardware. Oh, okay. Well, okay. I'm going to try it. I'm going to blow it up, I'm sure, but we'll give it a try. Oh, ooh. Wow. 13. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a six and a four. Ooh, with a boon, it would have been 14. So, you attempt this. You figure, you, you examine it, you make deductions, hypotheses, and you try it. You get yourself a drill, you break the first few, uh, get another one made of stronger material, uh, you manage to get through, you attach a cable into it. You're pretty sure these are the right electronics. Plug it in, and not. There's no response. Okay. What does the inside of it look like? Just like electronics or yeah uh, it, it, it's it, you it seems like regular electronics but it you can't make heads or tails on how it's supposed to work components yeah. but it's more like a chip like the wires inside and i think it would look like cpu chips like it's so tiny and then like all the network of yeah may, may, maybe with a few years of research you might figure out how it actually works I'm spending the rest of my entire life going engineering. Yeah, no. Maybe not. <laughs> Wouldn't actually gain me anything. Okay. Um, How hmm. about we move forward to the next topic? Yes. You spend about a week doing this. And yeah. So Did we hear room. back from Joel, by the way? No, Joel is still out. Jail. 
So, Mr. Hammond goes through on the things you found. Well, have we analyzed the jewelry you found in the vault? It's gold and silver and valuable metals and some gem gems are. Sorry. Drugs getting into me. Are drugs in there too? Okay. Uh, uh, valuable gemstones, uh, but aside of them being alien, alien and weird uh, of design, nothing of intrinsic value, well, nothing of scientific value to the company. So, would you like to keep them or sell them to us for five thousand credits? Okay, it's um, US dollars. Yeah, I like for that amount. We may as well. Uh, sorry. Them. Sorry, yeah, sorry. we could the, probably. The, uh, you know what? The, the, that's that's my fault. It's fifty thousand dollars. Fifty k. I wonder if this is more valuable as like a bartering system yeah. for. Exactly. I was thinking the same thing. Hmm. So we can trade with uh, natives on more friendly planets. You know what? I think we're going to hang on to that. I like that idea. Like, that's totally cool yep. idea, Dan. Right. Keep jewels. The memory drive you found happens to indeed contain a lot of data. The last week, the process has been churning out and and what appe uh, what appears to be the entire database of various works apparently um, apparently a lot of it is poetry but there's also scientific data according to their research and some historical things uh, teams are analyzing them as it is so the cultural significance of it uh, will give you a hundred thousand essays unfortunately nothing of use on how to make more of these devices has been found yet and we do not dare to touch it until data has been securely securely analyzed uh securely analyzed and backed uh, up on mm -hmm. various other devices and that is probably going to take a good while you did not manage to secure anything of note in the uh in the terms of in the terms of allies or mineable resources, you did find some weird metals. And the tech team has analyzed it, and whatever this metal is that was yours, used in the spear tips, it, it has quite fascinating properties. We're going to give you another 100,000 for discovering this and bring it back. As per agreement, section 14, paragraph 5. Is there a uh, bonus for ETA? deadly weapons? <laughs> huh? I was more thinking along the lines of is there any ETA on a manufacturing process for this metal? Unfortunately, it seems to be a metal that does not occur on Earth. So we would need to find an extraterrestrial source for it. Would like bringing more of this uh, specialized metal whenever we can, or even mining facilities of it, be of yeah, extra value be, for you? Those would be immensely valuable, yes. Noted. All right. Cool, 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 cool. I can do that. Uh, 200k. Let's put that in the budget. The analysis team seems to think this would make an excellent ablative armor plating. That's as... exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> While it has some intriguing properties used as a weapon, it doesn't really provide an extra extra layer of, layer of armor penetration. And while it might be very good at disabling vehicles, it's not going to kill anyone inside them. Oh. All right. Uh, what else do you bring back? The game master is waiting. 
Mm -hmm. Game it's not the main Scrolls, Scrolls, the uh, batteries. Uh, uh, batteries, yeah. yes. The battery technology is in the same line as the as the the, the as the memory drive. Apparently, these people have mastered the art of storing things in surprisingly small, surprisingly dense conditions. Uh, these c cylinder shape shaped devices, and the science uh, the science team has been trying to charge one of them, and they seem to be gobbling up energy like they were made out of uranium. Like, have you been able to charge one? Uh, partially, we have managed to apparently get a partial charge to it, but they seem to be taking taking a lot of it. So. Mm. That that the, Asper the, agreement is another hundred thousand. It's totally either way. Could work on. Did you hand in the old syringes? Yes. Let's see. It's the uh, the what syringes? You found some odd. Oh, syringes that's in right. The some... Yes, they were in the lead box. Yes, because we were worried about zombies at one point. I couldn't remember it. Yes, you're right. Uh, yeah, the. Uh... Medical stuff. Yes, we turn it in. Medical. Turn it in. Yes. Uh, there's a beer to be lab samples. We we have yet to yet to analyze what they actually are. What they are. Uh, what is the most in intriguing pro uh, intriguing process here is that they are still fluid, even after all this time. It's not human blood, especially in the conditions you described, and no extra regeneration or cooling facilities of any kind. Uh, uh, it leaves you. Uh, that would have been destroyed a long time ago, even frozen human what a blood. What decayed? Last. Yeah. Yeah, what a decay like hundreds of years ago, but it's still good. But it's still analyzing, those... analyzing what additives they have been using those. But we're going to. Go ahead and give you a hundred thousand for discovering those as well. So that it would be a total of four hundred thousand dollars to your company account. Whoa. Plus the two hundred and fifty from the last mission, we're at six fifty that we haven't split apart. Excellent. Right. Uh, while we're talking, the Bravo Squad has discovered some leads, leads towards the Hindu god of Vishnu. While they did not discover anything worthwhile, uh, anything of direct con contact, contact on their last mission, they did discover the location of Vishnu's home world. We are still planning on an expedition there. However, before we do that, I do believe it's high time you met. So I've invited the Bravo Squad to this meeting. All right. And this is where Booster brings out his second stream team. He's been streaming secretly under a different name. <laughs> How did you know? Guys, log Wait. in. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> but by the way, on, on the map, I'm looking at the map. Um, wasn't Vishnu the bathroom? Yep. There was this Vishnu what, what, room, what, right? What, what you considered bathroom was Vishnu room, yes. Oh, okay. All right. So, like, the Bravo team. All right, let's, let's, who's here? Yeah, yeah. They tell us that we're Alpha and they're Bravo. Yeah, totally. Stargate, Stargate Two. It's the electric boogaloo. But by the way, Froggy has a good uh, point. Uh, maybe I uh, can research the culture of Indra to find the passkey. Mm -hmm. That's a very good point. So, 
start doing those chants I was doing before. Vishnam Bande Jagat Guru Sri Vishnam Bande Jagat Guru. Okay. <clears throat> as you, uh, as Hammond goes ahead and picks up his phone and calls, send him in. Uh, takes a few seconds, but the door opens up. And the first one through the door is a, uh, how do you call it, medium, medium height, uh, height, sharply dressed, uh, pitch black woman with a um, uh, what, bun, on, on, bun on the back of the head, uh, side up, dressed, dressed, up, dressed up neatly, they color of the uh, of the suit is white uh, white as fresh snow and the black doesn't have a single a black of the suit doesn't have any a single hair on it that you can notice and she walk walks in with determination determination giving 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 a cautious nod to Hammond and taking he, taking her place next to him following her there's a uh there's another woman a shorter uh shorter like uh five feet and a couple inches a couple inches basic basic basically a girl with, with mean asian face and a red uh, um and red hair with two uh uh, twin twin ponytails on each each side of the head. Um, she she seems to be wearing a suit as well, but it's uh, it's uh, ill fitting, and so sort of haphazardly put on. Uh, has some has some red hairs here and there. The uh, uh, not not so you guys, uh, not and, and Hammond like yo, T taking Bye. a seat 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 next to, uh, next to the previous one. Following that is a is a tall six feet six feet and five inches inches white man with dark hair and mustache like a uh, uh, mustache and black aviator sun sunglasses sunglasses a short sleeved collared shirt that has the uh, has the uppermost button button open and and uh, ha hairy arms. And uh, thumbs stuck stuck under underneath the belt, wa walking in like he owns owns the place. Place. <clears throat> he is the most cop seeming person that you have seen in your life. If this one doesn't ha hasn't served in the police force of, of some department somewhere, you would probably sell sell, sell your house house to house to cover your. He screams so, cop. He, he screams cop. All the way through, and sitting right. sitting down next to the small Asian lady, and after that comes in a blonde woman. She's tall, and she is uh, how do you call it? She has makeup on in the in the way that accentuates her shape, uh, accentuates her shape. And as you're looking at this uh, clearly white girl. He reminds you of the tall mountains of Scandinavia and the deep fjords of Norway. Norway, as she sits sits down, sits down next next to the former police officer, with a wide smile on her reddened lips, lips and. <sighs> No, no, nodding, nodding to, um, let's say, who's opposite of her. Dan. Uh, ah. I'll, I'll nod back. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, yeah. Tall blonde with long, long flowing hair. That's, uh, you know. Made up uh, in in the way that somebody somebody has paid a lot of attention to doing that. 
ma making it uh, the half line between disheveled and intentionally intentionally made so. Whoa! Hi, like I'm Doug Peterson. Nice to meet you. Uh, and yes. Jackson. Oh yes. Uh, this year, uh, this year would be uh, ha having policies. This is uh, Miss White. Mrs. White says the black black woman nodding, uh, correcting funny. Hammond. Ah, yes, um, my apologies. Uh, uh, Wendy King. Yo. Which one was Wendy King? Uh, the Asian. The Asian one? Okay. L little Asian one. And, and that would be Jack Black. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice. <laughs> and finally, I'm guessing Jack Black wasn't the Norwegian woman. Okay. No. Uh, <laughs> fi finally, Svea Stromberg. Stromberg. Svea. Svea. Svea Stromberg. Stromberg. Whoa. Uh, so we found uh, in the previous planet the information that uh, uh, leads uh, leads us to the prime planet of Vishnu. As I'm sure you know, Vishnu is one of the primary gods of the Hindu religion. Ok, uh, I mean, I I like that we should investigate this uh, further. Uh, I propose this, uh, our team goes there and uh, and attempts to negotiate alliance with the god Vishnu. <sighs> our team yeah. as in all of us or just work as a group? Bravo team. <clears throat> I, I do believe that our team is the more, more capable team of, our, of, of us. Says Mrs. White. Considering that you lost a week doing nothing, uh, getting back uh, with the porcupine. Uh, it wasn't a week for us. We were gone for less than a day. So you tell us. Look well, at our watches. <laughs> your results. Uh, Sorry, results okay. have Harmless. left a lot of mess that we've we've had to clean up after it. But. Do not worry. Professionals will take care of you, this. Professionals don't get the results <laughs> that we get. Because we get to... We're the better team, for sure. Alpha <laughs> always comes before Bravo. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. You do know that Alpha testing goes before Beta testing? Burn. I don't know much about computers, but I know that bitch. <laughs> I don't know what she said, but she sure does sound like he owned you. <laughs> Is that this point? Mac just says, I'm sorry, but all this juvenile dick measuring is not professional. All from that is from in regards to my colleagues. And from you, thought. Dick measuring. I, there's three guys on our team, but only one on theirs. We've got more. Dick. I like that you are correct. Yeah, this is uh, most childish behavior, not suited for <laughs> the professionals. I'm not childish. says childishly. Uh, was there <clears throat> not supposed to be four of you? Um, yeah. Our uh, other party, our other member, JL, she's on a top secret mission. I can't talk about it. But she'll be back soon. I understand. You are operating on a 
less than ideal composition of your team. Even the more reasons why the Bravo squad should take take the lead on this. And what would our assignment be then? Well, somebody would need to guard the gate, obviously. <laughs> that does not work. Look, how about we all just exactly. work together as a point, group? Steven just puts his hand on Doug and he just and Doug's shoulder and he just goes. The idea of someone guarding the gate is not an unreasonable idea. Finally, someone who sees a reason. All right, go on. Because if... let's be let's be honest, we're all going to be potentially stepping onto a wire. We do not know the dangers. We do not know the level of technology they have, and for all we know, the aliens on that planet could be hostile. Well, so having a secure gate for proper, you know, escape would be appropriate. Plus, we'd be there as a backup team for when things finally do go wrong. All right. I think there's an alarm going off somewhere. Sorry, that's uh. That's pretty good <laughs> timing there. <laughs> Are the aliens invading? Are the aliens invading again? Access. <laughs> it's just outside my window, guys. The parking lot is right outside. You do realize oh, an incredible view out of my window. The you do realize yeah, that we are on a timetable, thanks to what you, thanks to you angering God Anubis. What I say, we get results. Yes. And not all the results are for the betterment of the humankind, are they? And have all of yours been for the betterment of humankind? We have not angered a single foreign god with the power to send a fleet to invade Earth. Look, you weren't there. We were. It was a F situation all the way around, and we succeeded that mission because we brought back popular, proper intel. We went back for the team and we retrieved them. It was a huge success. Just our character, I'm just trying to think. What did we do to piss off the gold here? That's what I'm trying to remember now, because... Well, remember us it might have had something to do with you assaulting his son. He kicked his son's butt. Hold up, but wasn't that after they came to our planet and to attack us first? Yeah, you did attack the, the settlement. They attacked the... the settlement, and then when they came and landed, we fucked around and we left some... We left something behind that showed where we were at. Yep. Technically, oh. we could blame the guys who went first that we were going to rescue. We wouldn't even have been there if it weren't, weren't for them. Yeah. Well. But. Well, I guess this situation. blame game is an excellent opportunity to end the session and maybe next session Jael will join the meeting and we'll see what the situation is. Yes. Fantastic. I love the Bravo Squad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I did uh, this uh let's let's put on the bandit tags. The Bravo Squad is actually provided by your fans. Really? Bravo Squad is, uh, was proposed to me in a private conversation with a fan. Nice. And Are, I was like, I like this. F? Yes? No comment. <laughs> was it you, Froggy? Yeah. 
They wished uh, they they did not wish to be named. Anonymous, fantastic! That's a great. I I love the fucking reversal. <laughs> the mirror image of uh of us. <laughs> um, I have a question. And I hate the, them so uh, much. The the, uh, <laughs> the the Norwegian. Um, Vega. Uh, Zvera. Svea. Svea. Stromberry. Stromberry. Um, she nodded to me. Do, had we met before? That's an excellent question. Why don't you roll me education? Nine. Mm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nine. I'm gonna leave that the next episode. Because I'm thinking, maybe she's one of my contacts. <laughs> she might be. The one that's gonna betray me. <laughs> she might be. <laughs> it's one of the three. One of the which? You have three contacts. At yes. Least. I think four. four. Well, three plus the uh, native Indian guy. Yeah, the native Indian is named. Uh, well, technically reserved, but yeah, one of your four contacts is going to be your. Right. You just don't know which one. But I don't even know if she was one of my contacts. Cause... I'm going to leave that the next episode because I'm going okay. to need to confer with the fan first. There we go. <clears throat> I like it. Well, that was a good episode. Uh, I like the killer zombie things that were coming after us. I like that we uh, beat out your better your belt. <laughs> well, plus one is much better than minus three. That's four better. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing how that works. It's like math is good. Yeah. The math used to be bad. Now the math is good. Wendy was cute. Yeah. Like the little little Asian girl with the red hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you caught it, but I was trying to imitate an African accent for, for Miss Miss White Mrs. White. I I, I, I was just trying read your to message, but... John. I didn't even notice there was a message there, but I just read your message and, oh, fuck. What? <laughs> I'm messaging behind my back. Come on. <laughs> it was just both him saying... I like, I like both those shows. Yeah. I was joking, like, for a second, like, when Steve uh, Blink was actually talking about, uh, how, how do I know this is not an alternate universe? I was saying, what do you think we just merged us with sliders now? <laughs> you, you go back to your your house and you, you're checking to see if the gate squeaks. Yeah. To see if... Are we really in our world? Oh, yeah. it was the... All you have to do is spin the top. Uh, oh no, no, that, that, no, no that's, that's, that's Inception. That's Inception. I know. That's... I know. I know. <laughs> you're mixing oh. mixing universes again. <laughs> You know what? I think I was like, I can't remember what season it was. There was the episode where they actually do get back to Earth. And it's just the ironic thing is, it's like he's always, because he's been saying, look, I'll, I'll get down to oil in the gate. And then because he's disappeared, it's like, it's just someone else in the family oiled a bloody gate. <laughs> Twin Peaks universe? Oh. Are you a fan? Ah, of... yes, yes. Uh, have you heard David this? Lynch? Fan... Have you heard this fan theory? That, hi, Sarah. That oh, hi, Sarah. Oh. Uh. What's the fan theory? Yeah. Uh, the fan theory that uh, that X Files and Stargate are in the same universe. Huh. How's that? I dig it. You see. You see, I could see it. You see, 
the, the connecting fiber here is, is this. General Hammond, <laughs> Hammond has, uh, has a private life that is not of the, uh, that's, that's not really shown on the show, show. So this leads to General Hammond having a private life uh, and pretending to be an NCO that goes to this uh, and uh, spends his time in this little village called Twin Peaks, mm -hmm. where where he where he hangs out. You can you can actually see him in in there in in pretending to be a low, lower class soldier. Mm -hmm. Whereupon we we meet we meet Fox Mulder in disguise, mm. <laughs> doing an under, underground investigation on the paranormal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, 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 this is the theory. It's all connected. Twin Peaks, Stargate, and finally, X Files. It's because all the same David. universe. Yeah. Fantastic. All because Hammond is. <laughs> okay. And Michael J. Fox goes back in time. The car crashes oh, hey. into one of the mountains and destroys it. So it. The show eventually in the future turns back into one peak. Oh boy. Oh boy. Tw Twin Pines becomes Lone Pine from in Star oh, uh, Back to the Future. <sighs> That's um, technically true. It's technically true. The best. Howdy, kind of howdy. <laughs> technically correct. The best kind of correct. <laughs> Uh, it's a it's a it's a it's a fun it's a fun one it's uh it has absolutely no canonical base but it is plausible that this could other be. than <laughs> other than the actor has been in all three of the shows <laughs> the it has nothing to do actor. with the fact that there's a limited number amount of good actors in hollywood no nope. <laughs> <laughs> and they're still looking for one yeah yeah just uh, let's see. Not Finch. David Lynch. David Lynch. Uh, I haven't. I was gonna watch Eraserhead Head the other day, but I've not seen Twin Peaks. But I've seen um, one of his uh, other movies, and they're showing here in Portland, like in the big screen. They're re-releasing one of his movies in 4K. It's uh, Inland Empire, and it's really weird. <laughs> And I don't know if I want to go see it because on the big screen, because I've heard it's it's very dreamy and weird, very David Lynch. <coughs> By the way, I was shocked when I first first time noticed General Hammond in MacGyver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, too. I, yeah, apparently he was actually the stunt double for the the the, uh, the Thornton character. I don't remember who the actor was, but apparently. It's one of those couplings where two actors just look look like each other, like 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 the Harry Potter and 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 Bill Baggins, not not Bill Bo, the other one, the other Baggins character. Uh, yeah. Bilbo. Bilbo. Yeah, yeah, that one, the one, the one <laughs> who is in the in the the, the 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 Lord of the Rings movies, but not in the other one. Both, no, both of them were in Lord of the Rings. Oh, damn it. And technically, it's both the younger were in the one. Hobbit. Frodo Baggins. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, like Harry Potter and Frodo Frodo Baggins look look the same to most people. Especially yeah. Yeah. not to me. What? Fine. <clears throat> I can maybe see that. Mm. So how are we? Uh... How are we splitting the 250 from last time and the 400 from this time? Oh, I mean, this 400 from this time, let's just. Oh, I don't know about the 250 from last time, but this 400, let me just go. It's 650. It's 650. Let's just go 222. Three ways. Or do you want to give her or give some to. Jay also she could do stuff. Well, no, I, I the two fifty was all of us from the previous one, I think. It was the previous mission where all of you were yeah. present. Yeah. And then the, the four hundred is from it. 
Oh, yeah. I don't know how to want to sp- how I want to split the but do you want to buy anything in, in how, particular? How about um all, eat, eat for the from the 250, we each get 50, all four of us including JL, and 50 goes into the the corporate account. Okay. And this time uh it was 400. Was so it? 100 each and 100 to corporate. Yeah. How's that? That sound? sounds good. Okay. Are you guys laughing? Money. Yeah. <laughs> I guess That's... I'll have to take my shares from the Bravo team. They know how to treat their game master. <laughs> you, we're going so, to the corporation. Yeah. So the corporation's getting 150. 150 All of you are getting 100. And we're each getting 150. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. And, J- J- and JL's getting 50. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, I do believe this is the time where we say I just wrote words, but first, the first, I probably should check who we're going to raid. Oh, oh, uh, just a repeat message. We will not be uh, doing a stream on the 14th of May. We also won't be doing one on the, we also won't be doing one on the 13th of May, but that's a Friday, so that's probably why. That's, that's probably not going to be any difference, is it? I could do one on the 13th. Okay, this this sounds like an interesting channel. Yeah, the 7th is still good. Backstabber, uh, Backstabber Studios. Uh, Backstabber oh. Studios, Studios. I know of them. Oh, you do? Yeah, because that's yeah. where the... Yeah, Backstabber few... Studios, yeah. Um, it's where some of the guys from Lawful Stupid actually went over to. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's, let's, let's hide these guys. I'm already uh, following them. Yeah, cool. cool, cool, cool. Okay, so what yeah. message should we leave? Ooh. Stupid raid? Stupid raid? A lot of bone snatchers. <laughs> let's give them, give them our bone snatchers, guys. That's stupid. <laughs> So we're not stu- we're not lawful stupid. Never mind. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, uh, hey, hey, hey! How about oops, 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 the wrong, uh, the wrong target. <laughs> <laughs> how about this? Where you actually raid? Um, oops, there we go. Two D four Stargate raid. <laughs> hey, you're missing the bonus natures. I don't. Where do I, I don't get think the you do that. Oh, but you have to be uh, subscribed to to use those. Ah, uh, okay. Ah. Uh. Oh, anyway. Uh, well, guys, since we can't give them, have our bonus, bonus nachos. nachos. <laughs>